What's up guys, it's me the Dom Fanatic and welcome to the team builder preview video thingamajig of the team that I used against Bias Production and the Twin Leaf Tyrants. The battle is already live, if you haven't seen it make sure you do go and watch it, unless you've been waiting for this video then uh, quickly watch this and then head straight over to the battle because it's such a good battle. I'll leave a link to it in the description just in case you missed it, but I highly doubt you have. Anyway. Bias's team is rather scary. Things to note: he has a Weavile. A, a for some reason Aegislash is allowed. In it. Like why? Why was Aegislash unbanned? A, a, no, no. Mega Pidgeot, and um, his team's just full of threats, basically. So my mindset for this game was I could have bought Hazard Stack again, but he has Avalog as a spinner and Pidgeot as a Defogger. Both are weak to rocks, but I honestly didn't think spikes would be too necessary. Um, I pr considered potentially toxic spikes, but I decided against it. Um, and you'll see what I've done uh, soon enough. So let's go over the very first Pokemon we have here, which is the thing, Landorus making his debut. For me, anyway, he made his debut for Sis. Um, failed to register a kill because, um, you know, the infamous Empoleon incident. Um, but we'll not talk about that. Basically, this Landorus didn't need to be timid to outspeed anything really. Um, once Weavile was sort of gone and Pidgeot was gone, this thing ran riot throughout his whole team. Other than potentially Raichu, but then again, unless he had Hidden Power Ice, he couldn't really touch me. So I'm running Modest, Sheer Force, Life Orb, because you know, Landorus isn't strong enough anyway, um, without all these boosts. We have Earth Power, um, obviously because it's stab and just hits anything that doesn't resist it ridiculously hard with Sheer Force and Life Orb boost. Grass Knot was for the Swampert, um, which he ended up, he, he didn't actually bring in the end. Um, I didn't anticipate him to because I do have other Pokemon to take it on. Uh, Sludge Wave is there for Fable and it also two hit KOs Pidgeot. And then we have Rock Polish because basically if I can get Rock Polish up, I win. Um, 252 EVs in Special Attack and Speed and 4 in HP. Um, it was just there to hit things hard. Didn't necessarily work out that way, but you have to watch the battle to find that out yourself. Next up, we have Seduction, Megalopunny. This thing is such a safe and great Pokemon in this uh, meta game. It's just brilliant. Anyway, I'm running Jolly this week, and I have 236 EVs to outspeed a plus one or a choice scarf Tyrantrum. Um, I also outspeed Weavile, max speed Weavile with this thing. Um, 252 in attack, and then the rest is 28, 20 EVs in HP. With fake Out, Drain Punch, Return. And I'm running Substitute on this thing, because obviously he has Aegislash, he'll be running King Shield, expecting to get them uh, attack drops on me. Um, whereas actually, if I substitute up, that just causes all sorts of problems for uh, buys. So, that was the idea behind this Mega Lopunny, but obviously, fast fake outs, he's got a Weavile and Raichu, which are both frail as hell and probably die to a fake out from about half the health, which is why Stealth Rocks is quite important. Weavile, after two Stealth Rocks, is at half his health. Fake out will probably kill it. Um, and then I have things which I can switch around, you know, if it doesn't kill, he'll have Ice Shard, it depends how much HP I have on Lopunny, I guess, etc, etc. But Lopunny is basically there to be late game cleanup, but it also um, acts as, you know, is a pretty good momentum breaker with Fake Out. Um, but that's Lopunny. Next up, we have Roserade, Ice Gem. At the, uh, this time around, sorry, I'm running a more offensive set. Last week I ran a slightly bulkier set. This week I bought um, Offensive because he has Feraligator, Swampert, Clefable, um, what else does he have? I have Hidden Power Fire which is uh, pretty much kills Avalug. It, this thing just does so much damage. There was also the option for me to carry Spikes, Toxic Spikes or Sleep Powder. I decided to go for Sleep Powder and it turned out to be probably the best choice um, as you will see. So I kind of figured that he will need to bring a Defogger if he wants to bring Weavile with him. And he'll most likely stick with Mega Pidgeot, because Mega Pidgeot's kind of, like, a staple on his team. So I kind of figured he'd bring that with Defog. Um, I have Giga Drain, Sludge Bombers, and Hidden Power Fire as my offensive moves. With Technician, of course, for Hidden Power Fire to be even more powerful. With the Life Orb, it, this thing hits quite hard, even as a Timid Nature, which is what mine is, as you can see. Um, it has 164 EVs in speed, which outspeeds a max speed for Alligator, I believe, without it being scarfed or at plus one. Um, 252 EVs in the special attack and 92 EVs in HP, it's basically the remainder in HP. So this thing was here just to kind of hit things um, as hard as possible 
Um, and it covered quite a lot of his team as well. So I was quite um, happy with how Rosary performed. Next up we have Vaporeon. Vaporeon is just an absolute monster. Running calcs for this game was glorious. It was just like music to my ears. This Vaporeon, I didn't even need to run defensive Vaporeon to take on Age Slash, which is what I was worried about the most because I didn't seem to have a fitting counter to it. Um, I'm actually running Modest with 188 EVs in Special Attack, 4 in Special Defense, 172 in Defense, 144 in HP. That meant I could take Iron Head, Shadow Claw, and Sacred Sword, Secret Sword, Sacred Sword, one of the, I can't remember which one it is, um, all about 50%. If he's in offensive blade form, this score does 78%. Um, if he's in shield form, it does like 30%. So it's a it's it's a dead H slash. It it doesn't have speed me unless he uses shadow sneak, but he'll be in attack form and score pretty much kill. Obviously, I also have the scored burn chance. So Vaporeon wins one on one with H slash. Um, I'm running the exactly the same moves: protect, wish, scored, and raw. Um, I could have changed it up potentially, but actually, this Vaporeon set worked so well last week and I had the chance to work so well this week I decided you know why not uh, the penultimate Pokemon of the team this week is Granbull this thing was pretty much there just to stop Weavile obviously Weavile gets poison jab but intimidate uh, max defense Granbull is actually nothing to laugh at um, I'm carrying the play rough earthquake thunder wave for that speed control of Pidgeot and Weavile that's another way um, to let my Landorus run riot um, and sorry, Heal Bell was to help Vaporeon live a bit longer because I can. Yeah. Other than um, Raichu, we didn't really have too much to take it on. So I kind of figured Toxic might be one way of him trying to take it on. Um, but also, obviously, I don't want things. I don't want Lopunny like, getting burnt by anything. I don't want any uh, Thunder Waves on that thing. He was carrying Choice Scarf Thunder Wave on Raichu just in case. Um, so it was really good that I bought Heal Bell. Um, Earthquake was obviously to hit uh, Aegislash, um, Raichu, and Play Rough was there to hit the um, Weavile, and pretty much anything else, because he didn't have many resistances for it. Um, if he bought Avalog, it would have kind of just walled my Gramble, but Gramble did a did decent shift. Decent shift this week. And then the final Pokemon I bought, because, you know, my team wasn't bulky enough, we've gone back to Titan. Titan had such a good game in my debut last week. I thought I might as well just bring him back. This week I have got um, Rock Slide, Earthquake, Rest, and Stealth Rock. I originally had Iron Head, but then I realised actually, you know what? They Rock Slide hits both Weavile and Pidgeot Super Effective, whereas obviously Iron Head only hits Weavile Super Effective. Um, so I bought that instead. Stealth Rock was important because I knew he had Pokemon weak to it, and Rest was there. I've dropped my stylus. Why not that go? Um, Rest is there with Chesto Berry to help uh, the long longevity, or how, how would we say that word, um, of Registeel this week, because it was the only thing I had that could really effectively take on Raichu. So I was max special defense, four in attack, max HP. Anyway, that's the team for the All Somerset Scissors this week versus Bias. If you haven't seen the battle, I highly recommend you go watch it right now. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like. Of course, I want to start pushing towards that 1K now. I have, while I have the time off work to do it, or studying, I should say. Let's let's get there. Let's try and push there. So, thank you for watching this video, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.